opportunity. Kunal Subha, CEO of CIA Tires, joins us now. Uh, uh, Kunal, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Let's first understand uh, the sector per se. Lot of tailwinds have come back, whether it is on the demand side, also on the raw material side, and also in terms of where the replacement market is moving. Do you see the next six to twelve months for the tire industry per se could be strikingly different from the last six to twelve months? Uh, on the uh, on the commodity side uh, or raw material cost side, and uh, there has been some stability in the prices, unlike uh, the previous uh, eight quarters. So. The material prices have been moving within a range. Okay, crude, for example, has been moving within a range of seventy-five dollars plus or minus five dollars. And natural rubber for last one and a half months has been moving within a range. So prior to that, the local rubber prices uh, moved up. So on the margin side, uh, where the raw material plays a role, okay, should the commodity prices remain within a range, okay, we expect the the kind of some kind of stability in the uh, margins. Uh, as far as uh, the revenue side, normally uh, in summer months in the local market we tend to you know sell more uh, as the demand is higher. Exports is slowly recovering, though uh, it's not gone back to where it was say uh, prior to Russia-Ukraine war. And uh, as far as OEM demand is concerned, um, the demand has been uh, good from commercial category, um, but uh, in case of two wheelers and uh, some other categories. Uh, and the demand has been, I would say, stable. That's the way I would like to sum it up. So stable demand is what you're pointing out. At least nothing incrementally negative. But talk to us about your market share targets as well, both for the two-wheeler segment as well as uh, passenger vehicle. You have quite ambitious target for market share gain. How do you expect to uh, kind of scale up? Are you looking at new launches? Are you looking at deepening the presence? What's the strategy? Okay, and uh, see for us, uh, passenger is core. Okay, passenger categories of tires, basically uh, passenger car and uh, two-wheeler categories are uh, core to our uh, uh, strategy. So from that point of view, uh, as far as two-wheeler is concerned, uh, and in the replacement market, we expect our uh, market share currently to be in the range of around 27-28%. We would like it to inch up closer to about 30%. That's our uh, short-term and medium-term uh, plan. Uh, as far as passenger car, uh, category uh, tires are concerned. Currently, we are close at about 15% kind of a market share in the replacement market. Okay, and we would like to take it up to uh, around close to about 18% in the two to three year kind of a uh, time frame. And uh, uh, we have built adequate capacities to you know, meet the requirements. And we are working in terms of you know developing new products, uh, entries into you know various OEMs is also one of the levers that would help in, to, in getting some growth in the replacement market. And uh, we continue to be present in you know growing categories like EVs where we are making efforts to ensure that we uh, gain some reasonable share. So those are some of the steps that we are taking. Mr. Subala, I also wanted to understand when it comes to exports, what's your strategy? Because there as well you are sounding pretty optimistic and bullish and you are looking to double your revenues by FI26. What's instilling this kind of confidence? And more importantly, are you looking at further investments? Are you looking at exploring some M&A opportunities? Uh, we, uh, at last uh, two to three years, we have been going strongly in uh, exports. Okay. And uh, in the overall, our revenue share exports used to be around 12 to 13 percent. Okay, in the FI 22, uh, we reached a level of about 20 percent. Okay, and FI 23 was relatively a weak year uh, for exports, and therefore uh, our share revenue share was more or less in line with the previous year, about 19 uh, percent or so. Uh, in terms of your question with respect to what uh, what are our uh, strategic actions? One is that our specialty tires, which is uh, ugly radial tires, where we build capacities and we would like to grow strongly. And we have been growing strongly on a small base. Uh, second, uh, we launched our truck and bus radial tires in Europe market last year, uh, last year July, which we would like to scale up. And our passenger car exports to Europe and other parts of the world has been progressing well in, in line with our, in our, with our plan. And towards later part of this year, towards the end of the current financial year, we also intend to uh, enter U.S. market for both truck and bus radial and passenger car radial tires. So these are the levers that we expect as our share, revenue share to go up from current level to closer to about 24-25% over a 
two to three year period. Okay. How much demand do you see is coming back from the pure replacement market? The replacement market uh, demand uh, is is a function of you know what is happening in the economy. Okay, and different categories of tires uh, are uh, have different um, demand uh, uh, factors. So, in case of uh, uh, commercial categories of tires, we are seeing uh, some good growth, good demand uh, for the last six months or so. Uh, commercial categories. Face issues in the previous two years were not able to grow. In case of passenger car, uh, we are seeing growth. In case of two wheelers, the market is still kind of flat. Okay, so that's the way I would like to split the replacement market demand. So to just sum it up, commercial category is growing well. Passenger car is also growing, and in case of two wheelers, it's kind of a stable. Well, just before we let you go, uh, I know you gave a bit of color on the margins already that uh, the raw material pricing is uh, stabilizing. But help us understand a few more details. The analysts are penciling in a number of almost 13 percent when it comes to margins of FY24, and that compares with around 9 to 10 percent, which uh, FY23 clocked in. Do you think that's a realistic number, 13, 14 percent for FY24? Uh, it's, it's difficult. We normally don't uh, guide. Okay, but over we can give you some some indicators. And uh, uh, in the quarter four, we we, uh, we close the quarter four close at about 12.8 percent kind of uh, margins. In the on a overall full year basis, our margin is 8.8 percent. Okay, and uh, generally we are comfortable in in a two wheel a uh, two digit kind of uh, margins. If raw material prices remain within the same range, and if we are able to hold on to our final product prices, okay, and we would we would be in that that range comfortable uh, range of about. Eleven, twelve percent. As far as quarter one uh, is concerned, generally our market uh, marketing cost is little higher because we spend more money during IPO. So that needs to be factored in, in as far as quarter one is concerned. Otherwise, I think we are in a comfortable range. Uh, it's difficult to forecast what will happen to commodity prices as it influences the margins. So, so therefore, uh, we are in a comfortable range. I, I'm not able to tell you. It would be a 13 percent or a 12 percent. We would like to wait and watch. Sure. Since you did mention IPL, uh, would it be fair to assume that the marketing and ad spends will only be higher as the year progresses? No. Uh, uh, in quarter one, uh, obviously, uh, we, we are more active uh, with respect to IPL, and therefore we spend more money. And our, our advertisement cost also, you know, uh, the amount of money that we allocate also depends on. Uh, how the business is doing, our normal margins uh, that we get, what happens to our costs and things like that. Uh, uh, when we when we uh, want to focus on passenger cat passenger category, it is important that you no know, uh, we spend adequate money on sales and marketing. So therefore, uh, we expect our advertisement or our marketing cost to be higher this year, uh, both in absolute terms and also as a percentage of turnover compared to the last year. If you are able to maintain. The quarter four level kind of margins. All right, really appreciate your time and uh, thank you for joining us with your update. I'm just going to shift focus and then see where is the where are the markets and just.